Okay, so this is uh, pretty much a really requested question, I guess, in the comment sections of a lot of my air gun videos. And what that question is, is, is an air gun okay to use for self-defense? Now, my take on it is, if that's all you have, then yes, but it's not the best option in the world. Um, but again, like I said, if that's all you have, or if that's all you can afford, that's better than nothing. And, um, you know, there's a lot of other things that are much better to pr protect or defend yourself, but, you know, it is what it is. So today, I'm kind of going to elaborate on that and, uh, you know, show you guys what I would choose if that was my option, if that's what I'll, you know, the only thing I can get would be a 177 air rifle. And like I said, air rifle, I wouldn't use a pistol for self-defense just because the the pistol does not put out enough velocity as the rifle does so i'll be testing uh two different pellets today my favorite um let me show you my setup here so we'll, we'll be shooting at seven yards today all right that's pretty much an average of um length for a self-defense shooting now that's not everybody's you know it's an average um but what i got going on today is I have a uh, denim pant leg that I cut, so it's actually four layers of denim in front of this ballistic block inside a plastic container. Now, this denim, I've been having a lot of people say, well, you don't show any clothing or anything. So that's what the denim's for. Second, the plastic is going to represent the skin before it hits the tissue. Um, the skin, the human skin is about 5 sixteenths uh, in thickness and um, you know it only takes four foot pounds to pierce the human skin um, projectile wise from a 177 so I know for a fact that that plastic's a little bit tougher than that so I just want to give you guys you know a pretty good representation of what a pellet was going to be like hitting somebody now granted there is no bones in this um, so it's just going to be 10% ballistic gel but we'll see you know you guys will get to see firsthand of what um, what that'll do now as I said two favorite pellets through my air gun my Crossman Phantom 177 rated for a thousand feet per second with lead and I use lead pellets so the pellets we're going to be using today is the Crossman Premier Hollow Point one of my all-time favorites and another pellet that's been growing on me big time is the Crossman Premier Pointed um, this is 7.4 grains and the hollow point is actually 7.9 grain. So the hollow point's just a hair heavier. But like I said, you know, they work great um, for what I use them for. And they're pretty much the standard in my past test. Um, and like I said, they're just great pellets. Very accurate and, um, you know, they're lead. So they expand, especially when they hit something hard. And that's been proven, you know, and I've already proven that uh, a 177 could possibly kill you, you know, it's all the air gun accidents and the simulation tests that I've done and then the last video of shooting the 177 in a coconut with 20% ballistic gel to represent the human brain. So that was with a pointed pellet too, and it did that much damage. Basically replicating or um, copycatting a 22 rimfire um, being shot in the skull, or go entering the skull and ricocheting through, tearing up the brain. So let's get started today. As I said, seven yards. Um, I'll be shooting right here, and I'm gonna go turn the camera on, and we'll get going. Well, it never fails. Um, I was sitting here talking as I was doing my video and my camera app on my smartphone decided to cut out on me. So we did shoot two times. I got it on that camera. Um, Crossman Phantom 177 air rifle with the um, Crossman Premier hollow point 7.9 grain and the Crossman Premier uh, pointed 7.4 grain. So let me show you um, First off, you guys will be able to see on the other video, but um, this container is about nine inches long, and you can see them both going in there. Well, here's the, here's the container, uh, or the gel that was inside the container. 
um, facing the opposite way now towards me and it's upside down because one of the pellets almost went all the way down to the bottom of the container but check it out Well, I know for sure the left side, um, show you guys here, this left side one right here, that is the hollow point, and this is the pointed. So, um, here's the wound channel for the hollow point, which that is pretty deep and nasty. And then here's the streamline um, on the bottom here, here's the streamline for the pointed. So um, they both stopped about one inch short of the full nine inches. So eight inches of penetration after going through four layers of denim. This was folded over which, like I said, you'll be able to see that in the other camera. But uh, um, I'm ticked about the camera not picking up me shooting, but it is what it is. And the test uh, shows really great results for using a 177 cal air rifle that's rated at 1,000 feet per second. Now, um, I wouldn't shoot anything less than that if that's all you can get. Um, so, I know what you guys are going to say. Well the luck of somebody hitting um, you know tissue and no bone well the last video you see me like I said hit a, a skull um, and a coconut shell is just as hard if not harder than the human bone uh, or human skull and it went in and ricocheted in like a 22 so I cut a piece of coconut shell to replicate a little bit of bone or at least somewhat of a bone um, so I'm gonna stick this in the gel and shoot the I'm going to shoot the hollow point again because that expanded uh, right out of the bat within about a one and one and a half inches from where it entered, uh, entered the the gel, and then it just came in and tumbled and pretty nasty looking. So I'll show you guys these one more time. I showed you in the last video, but like I said, the camera cut out. I'm going to put a picture in of what they look like originally from uh, when you first shoot them, and then here's the point at 7.4 grain. So this pretty much got swished up. It looks like a BB now. But uh, I'm going to reshoot with, uh, I'm going to do the hollow point because it did the most damage in my opinion. Um, four layers of denim, like I said, and the plastic container to represent some resistance um, as skin. So let's do that again. All right, everybody, round two. Hopefully the camera picks up this time using the Crossman hollow point, premier hollow point. See what uh, this does against bone.
see here. Well, it actually broke it off. So let me dig out the pellet here and see where it went, if it flipped this over. Still went through the four layers of denim though, for sure. Well, it broke the bone, the simulated bone, and it hit pretty hard, so it flattened out. As I stated before, these soft pellets really hit hard. So, um, I just want to be clear, like I said, this is not your best option, but if this is the only thing you can get, then, um, you know, that's the only thing you can get. Um, as I stated before, rated at a thousand feet per second with lead. What I mean by that is that's what they rate them at um, on the box. Uh, mine actually shoot. Mine actually shoots the Crossman pointed at 875 feet per second at the muzzle, with about 12 and a half foot pounds of energy. And the um, Crossman Premier Hollow Point comes out of my barrel about at, at the muzzle um, 850. So. They're both almost the same exact um, feet or uh, muzzle energy, but the the feet per second varies just because of the weight of the pellet. But as you can see, though, the hollow point is the best option, in my opinion, for self-defense purposes. If that's what you can only get, um, again, like I said, it's not the best option. But you know, if you can't own a firearm or you know you have some type of restriction whether it's country or personal or whatever you know that's none of my business but you know if your air rifle or that's what you're you have and that's the only thing you have like I said um, go with a hollow point and if you go out and buy an air rifle because of this um, and that's all you can afford get a gun that's rated at a thousand feet per second with lead because you're pretty much going to be shooting the same as my gun so um, as stated before, it broke the bone. It broke the bone off. So, what that means is, um, you hit a hard enough bone, which I stated that the coconut is as hard, if not harder, than some of the bones in the human body, because there's, there's no telling exactly the hardness of every bone. It's kind of hard to do that. But, you know, shot in the head, um, it really will do some damage, especially with the pointed pellets. Um, and the, the hollow points expand so you know i don't know it's up to you but if i if i was in a scenario like that where somebody broke into my house and that's all i had was an air rifle i would try to just shoot them wherever i could i wouldn't take my time unless you practice all the time um i wouldn't take my time to shoot them you know and try to aim for you know right at one little spot or whatever you know but if you could pull it off you could pull it off you know my hat's off to you but as stated, again, not the best option, but I wanted to make this video just to answer this, that question because I actually wanted to find out. Um, like I said, these tests are just simulations. There's no, you know, proof that, you know, this could have actually been a pass-through if the person, you know, was thin enough width-wise. Like I said, that's nine inches of gel in length. Um, so I don't know. I mean, like I said, there's proven stories of people getting shot and killed by an air rifle, and it's not a headshot. It's in the chest and the vitals and all that good stuff. So, as always, guys, I appreciate you watching my videos. I hope you liked them um, or liked the shooting and liked the, the details of this video. And like I said, I wanted to find out personally about it because I've been getting this question asked for a while. And I just never, you know, really thought into it that much until today. And I was like, well, let's see. So, um, that's crazy. So, this... Uh, this is the other side of that. That's the entry hole in this plastic. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I mean, that's like a perfect hole, and you can see all the little cracks. It blew that out. That's uh, that's about an inch or so in diameter, and then it hit the gel. 
and then it messed it up i mean this whole front half of where it hit is gone it's just mangled shreds because of that pellet like that shattering that bone and everything so even if it doesn't kill them it's gonna hurt but uh all right, guys, I'm going to get out of here, and I hope you like the video again. Um, if you like it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and comment below and tell me what you think about it. You know, like I said, it's not the best option, but if that's all you got, that's all you got. So, again, thanks, everybody, and uh, I'll be answering comments in the video, as always. So I hope you like it, and uh, give me some more ideas of what you want to see. Um, I actually have a really good video planned here uh, within a week or so, and I hope you guys stay by, uh, tuned to watch it. I really do appreciate it. Thanks, guys. See you later.